Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Fear Dragon, and I'm here to bring you After Hours Gaming League Division B, Division 5, week of February 18th, game number two between Amazon and IBM. If you haven't seen game number one, please go ahead and check that one out first. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump in and introduce the players of game number two. Spawning up here in the top left-hand corner of Akalon Waste, we have a representing Team Amazon. It is going to be Amazon Sancho, the red Zerg player, currently one in one in Zerg versus Zerg. And, you know, he is most afraid of Terran Hellbats, but luckily for him, his opponent is not a Terran. It is, in fact, spawning down here in the bottom right-hand corner of Akalon Waste is the blue Zerg player. For Team IBM, it is going to be IBM's Swisha. Swisha is actually 1-1 one one in the After Hours Gaming League, but currently 0-1 in Zerg vs. Zerg. Actually ended up losing a game against Quora's CSKO, so we'll have to wait and see if he can redeem himself in this matchup, if he can bring it back, as, you know, he has actually mentioned in his profile, hey, you know what, his favorite map back when he was a kid was those BGH, Big Game Hunters, no rush, 20 minutes in StarCraft 1, so that probably means he enjoys his macro a little bit. So, you know, if his macro is on top of everything, he could actually end up winning this. But Zerg vs. Zerg is a very micro-heavy matchup. We'll have to wait and see if he can bring it home for IBM, as they are currently down 0-1 against Team Amazon's 1-0. So this is going to be an intense match. It's going to be very important for IBM to actually win this game, because they don't want to be down in an 0-2 position in the Best of 5 series. Being down 0-2 means you can't give up any games. You have to reverse all kill, essentially, to come back. Now, we do end up seeing Swisha with that mentality. Going to go ahead and open up with that gas first opening. Then throw down that spawning pool. Going to have plenty of gas once that spawning pool finishes to actually start researching the Zergling speed. In the meanwhile, Sancho has a similar kind of line of thought. But he's going to go ahead and also throw in the expansion. That does mean that his gas geyser was a little bit more delayed than, say, his opponent Swisha's. But he still will have a relatively early Zergling speed, and really, um, there should only be a very, very small timing window where Swisha actually has a Zergling speed, and Sancho does not. In the meanwhile, we do see these overlords, of course, heading over to their respective opponents' bases, and, I mean, they're not going to be seeing anything too, too crazy. We do see expansions out for both of these players. And look at this beautiful timing for that Overlord and beautiful timing for that Overlord. It's like they're completely mirrored. It's like this is a mirror match, guys. A Zerg versus Zerg. It kind of is a mirror match. But regardless, we do end up seeing a nice a little difference, first of all, is that there are four Zerglings out for Swish. And how many Zerglings are actually out for Sancho and that actually the answer is actually zero right now he doesn't have any Zerglings out he does have a queen out however so that does mean he can actually defend against these Zerglings without too many issues the Zerglings are mostly just going to be around for I guess scouting purposes not really looking to do a whole lot of damage if he's lucky and he controls really well he might be able to pick off a single drone or two but with that being said he's going to go ahead and come in Scout out this natural expansion that his overlord is already happily scouted and said, Hey, I already saw this, guys. You guys can just go home or do something, be productive. He's going to go after those drones, and oh my god, he actually might get the drone. No, does not. Oh, it looks like he's just going to go ahead and go after this drone down over here. But of course, with all of this being said and done, it took a while for those Zerglings to move across the map, and now Sancho has some Zerglings of his own. He's going to be able to pick off or at least send those Zerglings back home crying to their mommy, their queen. And, I mean, additional reinforcements are going to come in. That does actually tip the balance over in Swisha's favor. And, of course, Zergling Speed actually does finish up. So, that does allow him to get in a quite a few additional hits on Sancho Zergling. Now, Sancho's gun might actually be in a bit of trouble. As now this queen is going to be under fire. And the drones are actually forced to be pulled off. And now the drones are going down. Oh, no. This is not exactly what Sancho wants right now. He is going to have to come up with some kind of defense. Additional Zerglings are going to come out. But they are not actually getting rallied into the battle. Now, additional drones have gone down. We can see 11 drones for Sancho to the 15 of Swisha. Now, this is really, really going very well for uh, Swisha right now, but now we finally see Sancho's Zergling speed upgrade does finish and just, oh my god, Swisha just barely surviving with that single Zergling. He's able to pick off, no, not able to get off of that single last drone, and now he's going to have to head home, I think, as he just does not have quite as many Zerglings as Sancho has right now. He just needs to go back home, defend a little bit, or at least just get up a couple of defensive units. He has the drone lead at this point, so you might as well go away with it. Just get up enough units to defend, and he will be just A-OK -okay fine. 
in the meanwhile, we do end up seeing that that queen does need to do its larva injection. It's a little bit scared to vomit. It's, it's the first time doing it. Just came out and right out of the hatchery. And now you might actually have the opportunity to just go ahead and defend. And that's going to be a pretty gosh darn good excuse not to go ahead and vomit. Now, we do end up seeing the Zerglings are enough to at least hold off Sancho for a little bit. I don't think that Sancho even has not no, does not have any gas money. So is not going to have any chance of a Baneliness coming out for uh, some kind of you know big counter aggression but in the meanwhile look at this oh no switch i just with that defender's advantage as well as those additional drones is going to be able to easily thwart that aggression from sancho sancho going to be a running a very long way home going to have some reinforcements to kind of back him up against this nice little zergling force but i still feel like he's in a very very rough predicament and i mean be just being down five or six actually nine drones at this point in this matchup that is just horrendously terrible and that could be Honestly, a very, very close to a good game. Unless Sancho can make something happen, he has to make something happen. But unfortunately for him, he is actually not the one going for the Baneling Nest right now. And, I mean, if he had the Baneling Nest out, he could actually go for some really big Baneling connections. Maybe do some kind of big counter aggression and either win with that or just get so far ahead enough that he could actually be ahead macro-wise. Have the opportunity to make a ton of drones. But that's not going to be the case, in fact, just because Swisha is actually going to be the one with that nice Baneling defense advantage. And also going for a Rotor. Now, the one thing that Sancho might have going for him is that it looks like Swisha is going for a lot of things all at once. Now, even though he does have a very nice drone lead of seven or eight drones right now, he does have to be a little bit careful because if Sancho just keeps pressuring, as it looks like Team IBM is uh, actually mentioning, I mean... He could actually end up losing just because he's trying to overextend himself in two main directions. We can see he's mining off of all four of his gas guys, or at least he's mining off of three of his gas guys. He has a Baneling Nest, has a Roach Warren. So, I mean, if Sancho can just make sure those Banelings do not get amazing connections and is able to do a whole lot of early, or just not really early aggression at this point, mid-game aggression, I suppose, with those Speedlings, he might actually be able to make something happen. Maybe right after this Baneling Nest finishes up, We'll have to wait and see. He does need to have at least one more guy on gas, I feel like, if he wants to make enough Banelings, though. In the meanwhile, of course, this Overlord from Sancho does scout out that Roach Warren, so he's going to feel pretty comfortable knowing exactly what his opponent is up to. Additional Banelings being morphed in, though, so I'm not sure if that Overlord actually caught a glimpse of those Banelings. Uh, it doesn't actually look like he's quite in vision range, but Sancho's going to be making some Banelings of his own, and this is really going to come down to this exact moment, whether or not Sancho can make or break this engagement and uh, this defense. I mean... There are additional roaches going to be popping out very soon. 11 roaches actually on the way, and that's going to be more than enough to deal with all these Zerglings unless he can do some damage first. And we do end up seeing those uh, Banelings not getting the hits that Sancho really wants off. And that Baneling right there could actually get some really nice hits off all those Zergling carcasses flying around. And now the roaches have popped out, and they are going to be able to easily deal with these Zerglings. There are more roaches than Zerglings at this point, and with the addition of a Baneling, there's just going to be absolutely no chance for Sancho to do any damage over there. Now... Sancho is going to have to go ahead and retreat back to the safety of home and just kind of figure out some sort of game plan. He does not have a lair or anything being uh, made. He does have a Roach Warren on the way. So in addition to that, he has actually been able to uh, surpass his opponent, Swisha, in that drone count. But that is mostly just because Swisha has gone for this massive, massive Roach Baneling force. So that means that... Even though Swisha, yeah, he has less drones at this point, it's because he's basically cashed out in his army. He's gone to the casino owner and said, you know what, I want to cash out, I want my hundred grand, and here comes my army, so pay up, man. And yeah, Sancho really just does not have a big answer to this. I mean, he just used a bunch of his band links, he's going to be pulling his drones out, as these spine crawlers are really just not going to be able to deal with this massive Roach Force. I feel like we're going to be seeing a GG out of Sancho very, very soon. We can actually see the series. Tied up one to one in the After Hours Gaming League of Division B of Amazon versus IBM. The hatchery does go down. The roaches are out for blood, even though his opponent is red. He just says, No, I want more blood. More, more, more. And he's going to go straight up into the main base. There are three spine callers there to greet him, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough as additional units are going to be rallied across the map and these spine crawlers are likely going to fall as the, the singular roaches do end up arriving actually we have a couple of zerglings and roaches popping from those larvae down over the natural expansion able to actually amazingly clean up the entire army of swisha 
But is it going to be enough? I mean, it looks like Sancho did manage to keep most of his drones alive, only really losing about six or seven of them. Going to be trying to retake that expansion. Does actually have plenty of minerals for it. His actual biggest uh, issue right now is lacking that larva. He's going to go ahead and throw down that expansion. But is not having that expansion mining for such a long period of time going to be really the thing that costs him the game? I mean, you can see over here that his income is just so much lower than his opponent, especially that gas income is going to be so important as they start to move into those layer tech units. We saw the Hydralis then coming out from Swisha, but we don't even have a layer out for Sancho. So Sancho could get completely caught off guard. Honestly, I actually feel like with those four gas guys as mining and with Swisha, it's such a huge gas lead and actually a quite a bit of time actually to really just sit back. You could actually have gone for a Mutalis transition and I'm really not sure what Sancho could have done about it. He would have such a difficult time trying to deal with that air aggression, but it looks like Sancho's answer is just gonna be, I'm gonna go ahead and try and double expand. If somehow I can just stay alive for a little bit longer and then maybe, just maybe I can actually make some kind of comeback into this game and I like the idea and the thought process but it looks like a Swisha is just not going to have any of it. He does cancel that hatchery and is actually going to go ahead and go over to the third expansion and he's going to probably cancel that hatchery as well as I'm really not sure what Sancho can do at this point. I mean, those roaches are just going to sit over in that main base, even behind in the upgrade 0, zero two one zero, And those roaches from Swisher are coming in once again. They want revenge for that last army that actually ended up dying. And look at that really nice concave coming out from Swisher. He's definitely going to have a nice advantage in this game as we end up seeing a ton of those roaches falling for Sancho. Sancho does have that defender's advantage. All those roaches are going to be popping in his main base, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. I feel like this time it really is going to be GG calling out from Sancho as IBM takes game number two, tying up the series one to one with some really fantastic play. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into game number three and see where this series will take us. We're going to see at least four games, so do not go anywhere except till the next game. I guess you do have to go somewhere for that, and I will see you guys there.